To create your resume, start with a blank Google Doc. I'm creating a resume for a fictitious character, Bob Dabalina. So I'm naming my resume, Resume Bob Dabalina. With your document named, let's deal with the margins. Go to File Page Setup. Make sure you have a one inch margin all around your document. The first line is gonna be your name. Center align it and then type in your name. Press Enter and then we're gonna left align the rest of the document. Okay, we need to add some uh, center tab stops. We're gonna add one at 1.38 and one at 5.13. This is where our contact information is gonna go. Nice. Press tab and then enter in your street address. Press tab again and enter in the email an employer can reach you at. Press enter, tab, put your city, state, and zip, tab one more time, and this is gonna be the phone number that someone can reach you at. Excellent. Now you can press enter, enter. Let's create our first section heading. This is where your objective is gonna go. So type objective in all caps. Press enter, enter, and you need to write out your career objective. The objective of every resume is a little bit different depending upon where you're at in life and what your goals are. Bob Dabalina, he wants to go to Metro State to study business so that he can take over his family's construction business. Now it's time to add an education section. Press enter twice and then type in education in all caps. Then enter twice more. We want to make sure that the dates that correspond to our education and work experience are all the way to the right. So go up to the ruler and add a right tab stop at the six and a half inch mark. This is going to allow us to right align our dates. Then list your most recent education experience. When you began, and if you're still there, the present. You're going to have to get rid of that previous center tab stop, just like that. On the second line, it should be the type of degree you're getting. You're getting a high school diploma. You want to make sure that it says that it's expected 2018. If you're proud of your GPA, list it and definitely list any extracurricular activities. Let me show you how to format the document. Control A to select everything and then choose Calibri for the font and 12 point for the font size. Make sure your line height is 1.15. We're going to go back and increase the size of our name. Let's make sure it's bolded and that it's 20 point font. Each section heading should also be bold and 14 point font. You can always copy the format. Make sure you bold the name of any organization and that you italicize key pieces of information. Using everything you've learned, you need to complete your resume. Make sure you add a work experience section listing your most recent employment first. If you still are at the job, you want to make sure you use present tense verbs to describe your job. Then add a community service section or activities if that suits you. If a job is over, make sure you use past tense verbs. Lastly, there should be a skills section. When all said and done, you should be able to download your completed resume as a PDF. Make sure you proofread it after you save it. If you find any problems, go back, edit, and republish. Great job.